This is really, this is interesting, but they usually are, right? Cash over hose. Mm. There's some truth coming out about a Leo and a Scorpio. There's some truth coming out about these. This is their motto. Cash over hose. So these could be two people who thought that they were pimps or they were trying to be or striving to be pimps. Mm -hmm. Going to work or am I? Where are they really going? I don't know. But what's important here is this is you guys. Like, protect me from my friends. I can take care of my enemies. There's a friend here that you got away from. These could be friends of yours in your life where you're realizing now you had to walk away from, especially male friends. If you had male friends who are like cash over hoes, I feel like you had to eventually walk away from thinking that dudes or males were the same way that they maybe they used to be when you were younger or. You know, but you had, yeah, you liberated yourself. And when you did that, I feel like you realized how talented and skilled that you are. Like, I can do this. I can do that. Because these could also be like friends of yours who don't want to work. And you're like super skilled and you, you build things or you like to create things. And this is just a creator here to me. Now, you only partner up with anybody. I don't care if this is friendship. Like, I don't even want to shake your hand, bitch. Unless you know how to sacrifice. If you don't want to give something up in order to receive some shit, then, you know, I can't do it. But this is two people who sacrifice for each other. Whatever you need me to do, just do it for me as well. They both have equal, like their fingers stop at the same spot. You know what I mean? It's like they both have equal amount of grip on this relationship. But they could do it by themselves as well, though. They needed to do this by themselves independently so that they could do this so that now, God forbid, something happens or there's something, you know, there's, you guys have an amicable split up. There's no paying lawyers and acting like children and this is what I came in with and this is what you came in with. This is that relationship here where you both sacrifice for each other and it's very independent and not codependent. But you had to get away from these friends who didn't want to see you. like Because secretly, they've been trying to hold you back since they knew you. This this is definitely, I mean, this could be women or men cash over hoes. I mean, shit, this is just somebody who chooses money over their friends. You, though, you're loyal. You sacrificed your damn self for these people. And that was a lesson that you had to learn. Liberation. Lessons. This is amazing. I don't know if you have this now. This could not even just be relationships. This could literally just be you knowing what you bring to the table. You create shit. Everything's always better when I'm around. I'll only partner up with people. Work, I, I won't even work for somebody. I won't do work with somebody. I won't be friends with anybody. I damn sure won't date nobody that doesn't know how to sacrifice and give shit up. For stability, someone that's not going to come there, shake your hand too, and behind your back try to sacrifice your ass and act like they're single when you're really in a relationship. These two people have both healed from some things. You want somebody that is independent and not codependent. We can get together and we can sacrifice some shit, but it's not going to be me just sacrificing some shit. And then now, all of a sudden, I come in this bitch independent, marry you. And then I'm left with nothing. Death. No. There's something that had to happen here. Like you won't even give your time or energy. It sounds like self-worth. And you realizing that you were the creative one in the group. You may be sitting back thinking, damn, man, I really was like the smartest or the one that solved problems the best. Or I always add on to other shit. Like I make other things better and shit. That's you. Mm -hmm. We don't want nobody in our life like this. Cash over hoes. Mm hmm i tell you what, you, you meet the right hoe on the right day. They could actually do something. Maybe they needed something or they had something you need. Don't judge. But anybody who chooses cash, this is someone that can't be trusted. They're always going to betray you and, and stab you in the back for money. Cash over hoes. This definitely is like an ex or a dude. Or this is just, I think this is male friends. I really do. I feel like this is male friends. This is either like your person can't hang out with these types of people anymore. If you are a female or if you are this male, whoever's watching, or you were the female and you had male friends, I just feel like any of these males with this mentality cannot work 
if you want this type of partnership. They will sacrifice the shit out of you for some money. They will act like they're single even when they're married. Loyal to a fault, this looks like in the upright, okay? <laughs> anyway, you get the gist of this whole thing, right? This was something you had to realize is that your friends, especially if these were male friends, Divine Feminine, and you know that energy you give off where all your friends are in love with you, they just don't tell you and then they get mad when you date somebody because they didn't have the balls to tell you how they really felt about y'all. You know what I'm talking about? These dudes have been secretly trying to hold you back since they've known you because they all wanted you, Divine Feminine. This could be the friends of your person. This could be the friends of every person you've ever dated. Divine Masculine, this could be your friends when it came to your relationship with a Divine Feminine or even a friendship with a female. You know what I'm talking about. It's going to be these jealous friends and supposed friends, but I feel like these are men that wanted somebody else to have this kind of view. Yo, man, what do you do? What do you mean you talk about you sacrifice things for somebody in here that you're in a healthy relationship? What are you talking about? Cash over hoes and somebody's like, nah, sorry, liberated myself just like, I don't know, last Friday. See ya. <laughs> this is some shit. I love it. You motherfucker, yeah, I'm going to work. Yeah, I'm great. Motherfucker's like, I'm actually going to work and shit. I'm independent, not codependent, bitches. I love this. We're not going nowhere. Philly out.